You think America's next top model is a tough competition? Think again. Five words. Audi Fashion Festival Casting Party. More than 300 models were marched up and down the runway in front of a panel of show producers, magazine editors, and the who's who in the business to vie for places in the hottest fashion shows. And though usually castings are held behind closed doors, there were no chances for models to slouch on a couch because not only did they have to impress the judges, they were doing all this in front of a live audience at Clark Key. So there was no way they could fudge their way out of anything. Under those spotlights, we basically came up with the idea because the whole festival this year is about designing the future. So it was about new show producers, and you met a couple of them: Jeremy, Jerome, Jolene, Douglas. Um, it was about new uh, show producers, new models, of course, so new faces on the catwalk, and also uh, new photographers, which is why we had 200 photographers here taking photos tonight. So they're vying for a chance. One of them will get an all-access pass to the tent at Orchard. So as for the models, of course, uh, I think a little bit of competition is good for them. You know, the standard was very, very high this year, uh, and we're also looking for more Asian faces. I think um, that was one of the things we set out to look for. I would love to see more local models as well. Uh, we look for models that are at least 175 cm and above, who've got charisma, can catwalk, can have the look. A lot of them got to strut their stuff. Uh, professional models, as well as even an opportunity for street casting, which has also never been done before. Uh, we saw one or two quite interesting, uh, you know, talents. But um, overall, I think that competition is is very very good for the industry. You you'll see a lot of them are actually the are the actual girls that walk the runway of um, Paris, Milan, New York. Or even the European shows, so we have very, very good girls and boys this time around. So, what did the models think of the first ever casting party? Not just big, but very long. It was three hours long. This casting. It's tough. Um, the waiting part was tough. The actual doing was very short and very sweet, and it was over like like that. And this is just the first round for them. It's just a general casting. And at the end of it, it's still the designers who will be picking the models. So we are basically shortlisting them because we don't want them to have a thousand people just before the show. Though the casting party eventually lasted close to four hours, the judges did manage to make it rather entertaining, especially for the female onlookers. I even made them take off the shirt because I know you were around, you know. So nice to me. Yeah. I like. Oh, oh, Sarah. Okay, boys, take off your shirts. <laughs> a normal guy comes in a shirt. You don't see the physique, and you don't see the body frame. You don't know how to fit them into an actual show. So when you see them, sometimes when they are topless, you see okay, they have tattoos and this and that. So maybe not very suitable for another show. And maybe sometimes when you take off the shirt, you see that uh, one shoulder is high and one shoulder is low. So not very suitable, although they look good. So actually, when you take off their top, it's actually to look out um, for more details. It's not just to benefit people like me. Like, <laughs> um, along the way, it does benefit you guys, but uh, definitely, it's a professional decision to keep them topless. Yep, nobody said the modeling life was easy, but the models still braved through it because five faces were being chosen to front the Audi Fashion Festival, and with that win, prizes and a fast track ahead of other models, almost guaranteeing each of them at least six shows at the festival. In the end, five were chosen: Paula Verhoeven. Natalia Costa, Natasha Bendurina, Tatiana Krasikova, and one male model, Simon Tang, a Taylor Lautner lookalike. So why were they among the chosen? They were, I mean, they were international uh, catwalk height. They were tall. They had charisma. They were fantastic. I think we were looking for the X factor. You know, the model that when she walked out or he walked out, you know, the crowd went crazy. You know, there was like applause, like cheering, and you could see that. Well, they certainly did. Meanwhile, keep watching, cause we managed to snag some up close and personal time with three of the hotties.